Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to keep on building our Python script. So if you don't know what this is all about, please make sure to watch the previous video for the prerequisites as well as the first part of creating our script. As a reminder, we're creating a Python script that allows us to do active information gathering with Nmap. And in the previous video, I showed you how the results of the Nmap scanner can be parsed from the dictionary, as you can see here in the print screen. So what we're going to do now is to create variables to store the information and use system module to save them to file. We will also test the script to see how it all works together. So moving into the code editor here, let's actually display some output over here while the scanner is running. So we'll just say print, print on a new line, running, dot, 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 and also go to a new line there. NM scanner is going to be a dictionary and let's save uh, the parsings from the dictionary to file. So uh, first wh what we did yesterday was to check if the host is up. So let's say a variable host is up and then actually do the host is plus NM scanner. Once again make sure to uh, look at the previous video to understand what we're doing here, so NM scanner scan, we look into the scan and then we're going to look into the IP and remember the IP is actually the first argument that we pass in the command line, so it says argv1, okay? And then we look into the status and then into the state and let's also make sure that we move uh, to a new line so dot and then go to a new line okay now uh, then we wanted to check the state of the port so let's call this variable port open okay and let's just say the port 80 is and then plus let's just copy this thing nm scanner scan sys argv1 uh, then we actually don't look into the status, but we look into the TCP. So into the TCP and then we look into 80. So port 80. And then we actually look into the state of the port plus a new line. Okay. Then we look into the method of scanning, so let's say method, let's just say method scan and then the method of scanning is plus the nm scanner scan sysargv1 and then instead of the status we look into the TCP port 80 and then we don't look into the state but the reason okay and finally we make uh, the guess for the operating system so let's say guest os equals and now we're doing the string methods so there is a percent as percent chance that the host is running percent s and then we actually fill in with the values so nm let's just paste this nm scanner scan sysargv1 and then we don't look into the status but we actually look into the os match if you remember and then we go zero and then we look into the accuracy okay and the second one so uh, this is the first one this is for the accuracy for the percent and the second one for the name so it's running and here is where we're going to fill in with the name and let's just copy this nm scanner so the second one is not going to be the accuracy 
but it's going to be the name okay and then we close the parenthesis and then we look into a new line and we don't need that all right now that we have them saved to variables let's actually write these variables to uh, to file to make the entire process more automated so we'll say with open percent percent s dot txt and then percent it's going to be uh, sys we actually don't need the parenthesis sys argv1 okay we open the file to write it as f we'll say just f so here's where we actually write all the variables f write host is up plus port open plus method scan plus guest os okay and that's it uh, but let's also uh, use the time module from python to have a cool timestamp at the bottom of the file so first we'll have to import time over here so import time and then f right let's go to a new line and report generated and then we'll say plus time strf time so that's the method and we'll look into the year minus the month minus percent day underscore then hour minutes and also let's also print a second so percent seconds in gmt okay but this is all in quotes so gtm gmt okay and this uh, we're actually going to display the time in uh, gmt time okay closing that one and closing that one all right let's also actually say print new line finished dot 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 okay control s now let's go ahead and quickly test this and see how it goes so uh, first let's do a ping to google.com to get the IP address and then uh, copy this IP address and run the script over it and uh, it should take a matter of seconds to actually finish this and have uh, a file created in the same directory with the name of the IP dot text okay so now let's look into the directory and we can see 172 and let's actually take a quick glance into it and as we can see we have the host is up the port is open the method of scanning is synac and there is an 88 percent chance that the host is running openbsd 4.3 and there you have it now before we finish let's do a quick uh, knowledge check how did we actually specify our target for the script? Is it A, as a command line argument, B, as a variable in the script, or C, as a separate file? Now, this is actually really simple. We use the sys module and sysargv to be able to pass the target as a command line argument. So, in this case, A is the right answer. Now, in review, uh, in this and in the past lesson, we built a Python script for active information gathering. We use Python and Map library and other standard libraries such as sys and time to gather and store information about the target. This was a very basic example of the automation Python can uh, give you. You can do much more than that. You could, for example, automate more steps of a typical penetration testing process. First, perform an Nmap scan. If port 80 is open, do some fingerprinting, then do directory brute forcing. If you find a WordPress installation, run WP scan over it, and so on and so forth. The possibilities are limitless. I want you to think about that for a second. Now, next we're going to start writing a keylogger in Python. My name is Christian, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.